Hi guys, this is the memo for activity two. Um, all right, so let's get started. It said factorize the following expressions. Okay, so for the first one, actually you're working with like terms. So you could have just said 12x squared y minus 6x squared y is 6x squared y, right? But because we're in factorization mode, let's do it that way. Um, okay, so what goes into 12 and 6? That will be 6. What, how many x, x's can I take out from both terms? I can divide through by x squared because there's x squared in both terms. And how many y's can I divide through by? Well, there's only one y in each term, so I can only divide through by one y. So that's kind of what I'm dividing through by. So um, remember, you always write down your highest common factor. So you can say equals x squared, uh, 6x squared, where, 6x squared y, um, open brackets. So what am I left with? 12 over 6, that will give me 2. And then the x's will cancel and the y's will cancel. Minus 6 over 6, that gives me 1. And then the x's will cancel and the y's will cancel. Okay, so there's my highest common factor. That's what I was left with in the first term. That's what I was left with in the second term. Okay, something that you need to know for factorization is that if you're ever left with any like terms in your brackets, you need to simplify. So I'm going to say 2 minus 1, that will give me 1. And I know that anything times 1 is equal to itself. Okay, so that's your final answer. Number 2... Okay, so what goes into 3, 12, 6, and 9? That's 3. And then have a look at um, what's common in every term. Okay, I can see that there's A's in every single term. There's A there, A there, A there, A there. But there aren't B's in every term, so I can't take out any B as a highest common factor. There aren't C's in every term. There aren't D's in every term. So my highest common factor is 3A. That's it. Okay, so then I would start cancelling. Well, 3A cancels with 3A, so I'm just left with BC etc. Okay, so I'm left with BC. 12 divided by 3 gives me 4, the A's will cancel and I'm left with B. Minus 6 divided by 3 is 2, the A's will cancel and I'm left with C. And then 9 divided by 3 is supposed to be 3, please change that, it should say 3. Um, the A's will cancel and I'm left with D. Okay, so you should have 3A, open bracket, BC plus 4B minus 2C minus 3D. And then the last one, there's nothing that can go into 4 and 3, so I can't take out a highest common factor there. There aren't x's in both terms, so I can't take out an x. There aren't y's in both terms, so I can't take out a y. The only thing that's common is my z. So I take out a z as a highest common factor, divide through by it, and I'm left with the z's cancel, 4x minus the z's cancel, 3y.